Stepping Stones of Rockford, Inc. provides premier mental health services to those with serious, persistent mental illness. They are dedicated to helping their clients navigate potential stumbling blocks of mental illness, advancing toward recovery one step at a time. Stars of Light is a program of Stepping Stones of Rockford, Inc. that uses dramatic and visual arts to promote recovery, educate the public about mental illness, and reduce the stigma that surrounds it. They enhance the quality of life in our community and across Winnebago and Boone counties with artistic products that educate as well as entertain. Through the artistry of the director and participants, public fear of mental illness is alleviated and barriers are broken down to understanding and acceptance. Participants include people with mental illness and other community members. They evolve from being a live theater troupe to a comprehensive program that includes all artistic venues and promotes recovery from mental illness through inclusion in the arts. The Stars of Light regularly collaborate with NAMI Northern Illinois, Rose Grants, and Shelter Care Ministries on their projects. I've been creating art since I was in high school. Um, I took a little bit of a break because I felt I was doing much better. I didn't have to use art as a therapy type tool. Um, but then uh, I had some things happen in my life and now about the last 15 years I've been doing art. I don't always know what I'm going to create. Um, I'll look at either the canvas or like my window and I'll look at it and be like, Hmm, what mood am I in today? It depends on my mood. <laughs> uh, the act of creation helps me with my, I get anxiety really bad and I have ADD and it takes my attention away from how I'm feeling. Um, I'll do art when I'm in a depressed mood. I'll do art when I'm happy. Um, so it all has to do with my feelings. So there's times that I'm going to scribble. There's times that I'm just going to throw paint together. Um, so it really does depend on my mood. Art helps me, um, helps me to be grounded. Um, so art is one therapy that helps me. So I started art when I was in elementary school, but everybody in my family has always done art. And in junior high, it really took off in 1983. I had just came back from running away and I'd been in the probation system, mental health hospitals, and then I met my junior high teacher. And that's when I just blossomed with art. And I've been continuing since and I'm 54 now, so <laughs> that's a long time. I try to evoke people to have to think about it and stir up emotions in them. So I like to do stuff that's shocking. I like to be outside the box and I get a rough idea of what I'm going to do. And when I started, I go with good intentions of making it the thing I want, but it tends to flourish into other things. Um, I'm probably an emotional artist more than somebody who sticks to the rules. I've always just <laughs> beat it to my own drum, I guess. People with mental health issues, we can be independent, we can work, we can have jobs, we can have relationships, and I want people to see that we can grow through it. I think that's why people with mental health issues really can understand my art because they're going down the same path. I 
think artwork, my artwork can have a lot of different meanings, kind of depending on what I'm doing or what I'm feeling in the moment. So some, um, maybe a way to express sadness or emotion. Um, sometimes it's a way to remember something happy. Um, I took a photograph that was a, a memory of a special time I had with my daughter. Um, so creating or drawing or painting. Um, sometimes taking pictures is a good way for me to express myself or get my thoughts out on paper, so to speak. Sometimes it just really helps improve my mood. Um, and in this one, it was just really whimsical. I created it and thought its head looked like a light bulb, so I made it a light bulb. <laughs> Art can be anything, and it really depends on what the person is feeling and who connects to it. And uh, sometimes it can be just random dots on a page. What it represents to me, um, it means a lot. It, uh, it comes from a place um, deep inside. It has will of its own and it becomes itself, you know. And I'm just kind of like the uh, medium in between creating this thing. No matter what I do or um, what clay, working with clay, I love it. And uh, I will forever uh, choose it or, and to do it. And uh, no matter how dirty it is, it gets all over the place, but uh, I will continue to work with it. Just uh, cool things that I enjoy doing. Usually when I start working on something, I have a general idea of what I want to do. And then I'll let the paint, like as the paint goes, I see something good and I try to keep it like that, or I'll build on it. I want my artwork to represent peace and love. And in this one, I did this one my senior year of high school. I complained to the teacher that we never got a chance to just do whatever we want to do. So she, for our last project in my senior year of high school, she allowed us to do whatever we wanted. As I used to draw faces because that was how I expressed what was going on inside my mind because I didn't really have much chance to talk at home. So this one, she's being patient, waiting for better days. It helps me, it makes me feel like I can share something with people, something that I can share. I guess my pieces represent like a part of myself so I've always loved like animals and unicorns. See I have like a unicorn piece that I kind of made similar to myself. Um, I put butterflies on her because I really like butterflies. 
Um, she has crystals and I like to wear crystals. Um, she also has wavy hair like me. And what inspired this piece was I have, um, I looked up a photograph of a horse and I kind of just went off of like my own head and details. Uh, my artwork helps me release stress and anxiety. I feel like once I complete something, I feel really good about myself and then there's always work that I can improve or um, try different mediums. Like right now I use colored pencil, but I'd like to get into watercolor. I've been creating art since I was just a little kid. I just started picking up crayons randomly and just throwing them all together. The next thing you know, it ends up being scribbles and you come out abstract. For me, art means letting stress out and calming. So, and it just helps me focus on one thing. And next thing I know, I'm doing something completely different when it, from where I first started. Sometimes I'll have an idea, but by the end of it, it's just what that is. Like, it just comes out whatever. But it's definitely a way for me to let things out and let things go. The first art I did was at Jubilee Center. Well, what I did here, I put relatives on there, home, church, friends, good food, health, Jubilee Center, and firefighters. When I got it done, I was surprised. I was, I was proud of it, what I did. I think I, I love my artwork. I love what I do. I may not be the best drawer, but it but my emotions come out into it. Recently, I was hospitalized for for a personal issue, and I um, I did this when I got out, and this really reflected what happened. And if you if you it says when the chemicals leave my body, I went into a different direction this time because I wanted to express more for my, you know, with my mental illness. There's sometimes there's a direction in my art and then sometimes there's not. And I need, and I need it. If I, if I didn't have art, I wouldn't, uh, I would be lost. My artwork helps me and my, is helping me in my recovery. And I hope that it helps other people. If I can inspire someone or help someone through my art, then I've done my job as an artist.
I've, I've always been a little bit creative, thought a little bit differently than most people. I've been in many shows. I've done Greenwich uh, a couple of times, and I've done art fairs around northern Illinois. My artwork means and represents more of a, a peacefulness, a more of a meditative um, a, approach. The artwork helps me get through the days by letting me escape into it a little bit. Art to me is not just being inspired and working on trees or whatnot. To me, art really is more about inspiring others and helping others create art. That's the true art. Everyone has an artist in them. It's in a different form. Um, some people crochet, some people knit, some people use popsicle sticks and make things, other people use rocks, some people paint. It all depends on what genre you're working in. Some days I start out in one direction, scrub it out, start again, slash the canvas, start again. It doesn't always turn out the way we want it to. It helps me relax. It helps my imagination stay intact. It helps my thinking stay intact. And I find that it really, really relieves the stress. My work is mainly for children because I want children to keep the child within themselves. Today we have such a serious society. They go to school and they're doing things we wouldn't have thought of doing at their age. We were still playing. And this is my way of helping them to play.